We begin with money back for millions of Californians under what the governor says would be the biggest tax rebate in U.S. history. California is not just back. California is roaring back. The plan would expand the previous Golden State stimulus to give $600 to households making up to $75,000 a year. Families with children would get another $500. The governor says two-thirds of the state would benefit, and it's thanks in part to a massive state surplus. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. But there's concern this economic recovery plan won't do what's needed to really bring California back. Let's go to CBS 13's Renee Santos. She's live on this, breaking it all down for us, Renee. Tony, we spoke to many people who said that that $600 stimulus check would help them go a long way, but I just spoke to an economist who says this proposal may not benefit the economy at all. It's been a little bit rough, but it could be worse. Shelly O'Neill is staying positive despite struggling to find work. Right now, money is tight and an extra $600 could get her out of the truck she's currently living in. Oh, it would help me out enormously. That would be like a down payment for uh, to slide my way into an apartment. Alicia Anderson is a stay-at-home mom. As far as for me, like we have a big family, so any extra income, it's always going to help. Governor Gavin Newsom plans to send $600 stimulus checks to people making up to $75,000 a year, an extra $500 to people if they have children. The proposal was part of a $100 billion economic recovery plan made possible by a projected $75 billion budget surplus. So how did the state get to this point after facing a multi-billion dollar budget deficit just last year? CBS 13 is getting answers. Sanjay Varshney, professor of finance at Sacramento State, says it has to do with tax revenue from California's most wealthy. But when it comes to the impact on the economy, Sanjay says giving free money can in fact delay getting people back to work. I'm not sure what that does for our economy. If anything, it's going to make it more miserable for a small business owner's who are relying very heavily on the minimum wage workers to come back, and these workers are not showing up. Trayvon Pinnell hasn't stopped working and says the added cash would go a long way. It will help me, you know, with rent, you know, with, um, you know, uh, electricity, you know, things like that, just, you know, everyday life. Now, during today's announcement, the governor was asked if this plan is in response to the latest recall, but he didn't answer that question. 